Working as an appraiser for Lane County's Department of Assessment and Taxation can sometimes be a thankless job, but Sarah Madsen loves it. I actually like getting to go out and meet people, and I talk to a lot of people every day, and try to help them with their issues, even though a lot of times my answers don't make them happy because it's not the answer they want. Madsen says her job is to help people understand. At least I can maybe explain the process to them so they understand that it's not something that we're doing to them, that this is the way the statutes are written and it's the way the office works. Credible values, fairness, and education of the valuation process are everything to Madsen and other appraisers who work in her department. They want to make sure your home's value reflects what's on your property. I'm trying to get an accurate representation in our records of what is on the property. That's what I'm trying to do. Remodels, outbuildings, granite countertops, a new kitchen, it all adds value to your home and that may add numbers to your assessed value for taxation purposes. The whole point of property taxes is to support what our community has authorized us to support through our government agencies. And it's Sarah's job to ensure that the real market value for property are credible and supported by the market so that homeowners are treated fairly. What they are trying to do is treat every property exactly the same, whether there's changes to it, whether there's not. With 140,000 residential properties in Lane County, appraisers will make site visits on six to 8,000 of those homes each year. And the statutes and rules are really very clear as to what's taxable value and what's real market value. And we work very hard to follow that and we make sure that everyone is treated the same in that regard. The market changes every year. In 2011, for the first time in many years, Lane County taxpayers will see their market value and assessed value much closer. For most people, they see 3% growth in assessed value and then some fluctuation in their real market value. In 1990, voters passed Measure 5, a limit to what local taxing districts could levy as taxes. So Measure 5 was a cap on the taxes that are billed. Measure 50 is a cap on the value of your property that's subject to taxation. Voters passed Measure 50 in 1997. It caps the assessed growth of your property at 3% a year unless you make value-added changes to your property. Measure 50 requires taxpayers be taxed on the lower of the two values. So, if your market value slips below your assessed value, you will be taxed on the market value. About 9% of people in Lane County will actually see their market value lower than their assessed value in 2011. But remember... Our values on the property tax statement are as of January 1st, and so when you get that bill in October, it's already outdated. Your property taxes pay for schools, fire and police services, libraries, parks, and much more. If you have a question about your bill, here are some numbers that you can call. Also, you can appeal the county's assessment of your property, but before you go through the process, sit down with someone from the assessor's office. Sometimes they can make the changes much more quickly by just talking with you.